All right, great. Thank you very much for entering your information. Hi, this is Ken Hayashi, CEO and Director of Target Appointments. So I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this short video where I'm going to explain to you some of the major pitfalls when it comes to hiring people a traditional way, especially placing ads online and what the costs are associated when hiring someone online. As you may or may not know, the minimum wage in the U.S. has gone up to $15. In California is 10 bucks right now for minimum wage and they're gonna move that up to $15 over the next couple years and they're already implementing that in major sectors uh, across the United States so in order to be competitive you're gonna have to realize that if you're a serious company and a and want to hire right talent you need to be already prepared to hire somebody at, at least 15 bucks at least in order for you to get anybody of any kind of value that's gonna be there long term so what does that mean for you and your company and your bottom line? Well, let's go over some of the major pitfalls. Okay, number one, if you were to hire somebody the traditional way, there is the whole interviewing and hiring process, right? So let's just go over that. You're placing ads, like, like how we found you. You're placing ads uh, either on Craigslist, Monster, Indeed, a bunch of other job sites are placing those ads. Now, there is a time of you going through all those resumes and scheduling those interviews and hey guess what there's a bunch of flakes out there right there's a bunch of flakes that don't even show up to the interview blah 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 or the resume is bogus you know all that stuff right now that process alone jeez how much does that cost you now according to the business advisor William G Bliss even a ten dollars per hour employee can end up costing a company an additional $3,500 in turnover costs, both directly and indirectly. Now, there's also, once you've hired the person, hmm, now there's the overhead costs that you may or may not be aware of. There's obviously the office rent, and even if you think about the small amount of space that the new employee happens to sit at, there is a desk, the computer, the equipment cost. Hey, if you're going to have a phone system or a dialer, all that stuff. There's obviously the shared cost of the break room or the utilities. And then before they even start, you're going to have to work with getting their employee paperwork ready. You have to have the HR department or you're doing it yourself. ID, social security card, liability paperwork, payroll. Get the accounting department involved, whether they're outsourced or not. Workman's comp, taxes, liability insurance. According to Joe Hadzima, a columnist for the Boston Business Journal, the salary plus benefits, and that's if you offering benefits, usually cost anywhere from 1.25 to 1.4 times base salary range. Hence, the salary plus benefits package for a $30,000 a year employee could equal anywhere from $37,500 to $42,000. Now we've got some very low numbers here just so you can understand that we're not trying to fudge any kind of numbers. This is the reality of an individual that's being hired for $15 an hour. Now once they're hired you're now dealing with individuals coming in late or possibly leaving early. There's obviously the hourly pay but then you have to deal with having to monitor them and taking their scheduled breaks and lunches or there's the um, liability issues if they don't. Now let's talk about the supervisor's time to monitor your brand new employee. Now I don't know how much your supervisor's costs are but if you think about it even if the owner of the company or a manager is just doing it by on the side Let's say a supervisor is being paid 15 to $25 an hour, it depends on who the supervisor is, how much is that time worth? How many individuals is that supervisor monitoring? Even if they're monitoring just five employees, which is actually pretty much the maximum amount of people a supervisor could effectively monitor, would be an additional cost of $3 per hour per new team member or for some of you out there thinking well I'll just supervise them myself they're sitting across the desk from me I'll supervise them now think about this 
How much is your time worth? How many times a day do you have to give them some kind of directions or enforce whatever procedures you have already given them for them to do? Now, how about this? They quit. You get the wonderful benefit of starting that whole process all over again. So, this is what you've been watching this video for. Hopefully, this will shed some light on what are the actual costs for just hiring a $15 per hour employee. So, I'm going to go over this really quick, so let's just keep up. Uh, let's look at a $15 employee here. You just add in Social Security, Workers' Comp, Insurance. Mm, that is an easily $3.75 additional cost. That is just a 25% above their hourly pay. That's pretty low, right? Now, add in the supervisor rate. Let's say you're just paying somebody $15 per hour, a supervisor, $15 an hour, and they are supervising five individuals, five employees. So your minimum cost to, for them to supervise your new employees is minimum $3 per hour. So that takes it to $21.75 per hour multiply by that by 40 hours per week 4.33 weeks or 173 hours uh, a month that is a three thousand seven hundred and sixty three dollar hard cost that a fifteen dollar an hour employee will cost you now let's put in the monthly expenses that you absolutely need in order for an individual to sit right there so that you you can have you or your supervisor monitor them physically. Obviously, they need to be working at a workstation, a workstation of five by five square foot at five bucks an hour is easily $125 per month. Throw in the electricity, phone system, computer, network updates, or any type of office bonuses that you would need to offer in order to stay competitive. That can easily cost an additional $150 a month. Goodness, I put these numbers super low just for your benefit, so you understand that these are the the, the minimum costs that you're going to be you're going to be paying for with your brand new employee. That is an additional expense of $275. So if you total those two numbers up, your end up cost of $4,038 per new employee. And if you divide that by how many hours you're actually paying them by the hour. It will actually cost a $15 an hour employee $23.34 per hour. And that is going to be for a minimum wage worker very soon. And this is in this day and age, how effective would you be in your company and your organization hiring a minimum wage worker? This individual may not be a very well educated, experienced or skilled employee or even if they will be they will not be so enticed to work there if you do not offer additional compensation or bonuses to keep them happy and for you to be competitive in today's United States job market. So when you had acquired a new $15 employee, you actually increased cost of a minimum 56% or $23.34 per hour for that new employee. However, would you like a solution that you could know your cost up front that someone else were to do all the hiring for you, assist you in the training, a supervisor assigned to monitor them and have everything done for you for 15 bucks an hour out the door complete then give us a call so we can assist you in recruiting your new team member we have all the up-to-date equipment the tech the phone system we have college educated talented individuals that could help you with your SEO social media updating bookkeeping, invoicing, accounts payable, sales and marketing, appointment setting, researching, and a whole host of non-core activities that needs to be done without the headaches, human resources, time, or the financial cost of hiring the traditional way by working with us. 
target appointments where we have our team here in the Philippines so that you can concentrate on your core competencies and let us handle all your staffing needs with target appointments. Just give us a call and we'll see if we can be the right fit for you. Rest assured that your new team member will be college educated, articulate, enthusiastic to work with a American based company and are supervised by our staff to take their scheduled breaks and lunches at a fraction of the cost that will normally cost you to hire somebody the traditional way, the way you are going about it. Oh, by the way, let me just give you an example of one of our happy team members. Hello, this is Carissa Ortiz. I've been working with Target Appointments for over seven years now, and I am an example of the quality of professionalism that you will receive contracting with any one of our team members. I have assisted our clients anywhere from SEO, website updates, social media updates, sales, and marketing. We wish to ensure that you have a seamless integration of our family team members working diligently on your projects. Thank you so much. Again, this is Ken Hayashi, CEO and Director of Target Appointments. I look forward to speaking with you and having one of our skilled business consultants see if we can be a solution to your human resources needs.